eat cereal, cereal. I wanna eat cereal. Let's eat some cereal. Let me hear your crackle pop. Your crackle pop. Let me hear your crackle pop. Wanna eat cereal, cereal. I wanna eat cereal. Let's eat some cereal. Let me hear your crackle pop. Your crackle pop. Let me hear you crackle pop. Oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome, cereal lovers, to another serial review. I am your host and palette guide, Professor Serial Doctor. Now, many of my eagle-eyed viewers have noticed that every serial I've reviewed thus far has been made by General Mills. And I have received a number of missives accusing me of being paid by General Mills. I want to set the record straight. Of course I'm being paid by General Mills. Do you really think I would put forth a product of this quality, of this caliber, for free? That would be stupid. But, <clears throat> just because General Mills pays me, and quite handsomely, I might add, doesn't mean I'm not also in the pocket of other cereal makers as well. So, with that said, the cereal I'll be reviewing today is... Twinkies Cereal by Post. I have high hopes for Twinkies cereal. For one thing, a Twinkie lends itself to be serialized in a way that does not seem uh, derivative or nonsensical. I can see Twinkie cereal carving out its own space in the cereal world and thriving. And for another thing, I love Twinkies. There's a purity to them that really appeals to me. A white cake filled with white filling. Mm. Everything could be like a Twinkie. I think the world would be a lot better of a place. Will Twinkie cereal do the spongy cake justice? Let's find out by exploring the box. The front of the box is, um, well, a fairly plain affair. The first thing I notice is that in uh, large letters at the very top it says NEW! Uh, as I said before, it is a post product, but underneath post there is a second brand. Hostess, the makers of Twinkies. There is a bowl of what looks to be the cereal, kind of uh, vaguely in um, Twinkie shape, although they kind of look a lot like yellow pills. And once again, uh, something I rather don't like in cereal art is uh, what I call jumping milk. The cereal is exciting the milk so much that it is jumping out of the bowl. <sighs> we don't need this. Graphic designers that specialize in cereal boxes, we don't need jumping milk. Cereal is exciting enough on its own. <sighs> now, 
The last thing on the cover is, of course, the Twinkie itself. And I should point out, I have a, a box of Twinkies, and once again, it is fairly similar to the actual box of Twinkies. The only difference is that this colorful fellow, who is called Twinkie the Kid, is not present anywhere on this box, which I think is is a shame. I mean, cereal is is a a place for cartoon characters like Twinkie the Kid uh, to thrive. I don't know why he's not anywhere on the box, but you know, it actually does remind me. Uh, and uh, Spencer, you I don't think you know this. Uh, back in high school, I actually had the nickname Twinkie, or Twink for short. Um, I don't really know where the moniker uh, came from, who came up with it, but certainly a lot of people called me Twink back in the day. Uh, I imagine it's because I am quite a sweet fellow, like, like a Twinkie. And also, uh, to be perfectly uh, uh, honest, there was a bit of a rebellious phase in my life where I wasn't eating so much cereal. I was really just eating a lot of cream. I always had cream in my, in my mouth. So, yeah. Uh, why are you looking at me like that, Spencer? Anyway. Let's take a look at the side of the box. It's interesting, they have, uh, the main ingredient of this is dextrose sugar. Uh, and it also has corn syrup and, uh, dyes, yellow five and yellow six. It, it really sounds like they're doing everything right. Turning to the back of the box, we have a nice uh, picture of a complete breakfast, a glass of milk on the side, of course, the bowl of the cereal, a secondary bowl of the cereal, which, yes, that, that would complete a breakfast, I'd, I'd say, rather nicely, and, of course, a side plate of Twinkies. Although, I do kind of question this, because I really consider Twinkie to be more of a dinner food. Before I open the box, I want to give my prediction of what I'll be experiencing in my mouth. I anticipate it to be very much like a, you know, mini, small, Twinkie. Of course, not as spongy, although perhaps with uh, the adding of milk it will become that. And I don't anticipate it to be filled with cream, but so few things in life are. Of course, there's only one way to find out, and that is to open the box, pour it out, and give it a try. I'm very much looking forward to this. So, let's get started. Let's see. This and open. Oh, there's a little sign inside. It says, this package was sold by weight, not by volume. Good, good to know. Good pocket of air, and ooh, ooh, what a smooth opening. That was, that was amazing. Giving it to the smell test, it is very, very powerful in smell, uh, even more so than uh, the Hershey Kisses cereal. It's not wholly unpleasant. It smells like very sweetened cream. That's wonderful. 
Now let's give it to four. It has a very, it has a very soft pour to it. And what I mean by that, thank you, Spencer. What I mean by that is that when you pour it in, it, it makes a, a very soft sound to it. It sounds very, I don't know, dainty. Now, let's, it's so soft, so soft. All right. What you're getting with this cereal is a very accurate depiction of a Twinkie. The reason why it was so soft, that sound was so soft, is they have completely encased each, each little cereal in a a thick powder. It doesn't really come off on your fingers. It does a little bit. But when it reaches your tongue and your taste receptors, you really feel it. It tastes very creamy. And then as you continue to bite into it, the that flavor goes away. But there is a very strong aftertaste of vanilla cake. This is a, this is a very good, um, uh, serialization of, of a Twinkie. The thing that bothers me is why I don't love it as much as I should. I think it may be a little... I think it may be a little too sweet. I can't believe I'm saying that. It may be a little too sweet. Amazing. Not to say it's bad, but it's a lot. This is a very intense cereal. The adding of the milk. As I said before, I'm usually not a fan of eating a wet cereal, but I am especially curious to add it to this one. Uh, and I, I think it may even need it, so let's add it right now. I'm giving it a little bit of time to absorb. But I'm also getting impatient. I'm going to eat it. The initial sweetness of the cereal is cut immediately. Whatever coating they have gets washed out in the milk. And I think it may be a little better this way. The fact that I've had a number of spoonfuls during my review should tell you that I am enjoying it. This is going to be a, a fairly well-regarded cereal. There is one last thing that I need to do, and that is to compare it to the actual... Um, not in liquid. What? What is it, Spencer? Speak up. Um, not in liquid. Oh. Spencer's telling me that I should use my stethoscope and listen to it. It's part of my... I guess it's part of my shtick.
Well, I said it was a soft cereal. It's also a quiet cereal, but it's a cereal full of life. Full of life. I really heard the beating of the cereal's heart uh, listening to it. Now, let's try the actual Twinkie and see if that is a better choice to have for breakfast. As I said before, I consider a Twinkie to be more of a of a dinner food, but I guess we will see. You can see on the bottom, completely flat, three insertion points for the cream. Hmm. Of course, a Twinkie is a good food on the go. But I would rather have the cereal. I think that the cereal is even tastier than a Twinkie. So my final thoughts. Post Hostess Twinkies cereal is a deserving addition to the cereal pantheon. I think maybe a, a shade too sweet, but overall a uh, cereal that I would recommend. It's a good, it's a good new cereal, and I wish it the very best. I also wish you the very best, viewers. You have a fantastic breakfast, and I will be um, back. I w oh, you know what? I've been struggling a little bit because uh, Spencer has been uh, telling me to get the viewers involved more. So I, I also want to know what you think of this cereal. So send me a missive telling me what you think. <clears throat> this has been Professor Cereal Doctor, a.k.a. Twink, wishing you a good day. A good breakfast, and I will be seeing you in your cereal bowl. Good day.